radiant and respectful, pregnant Meghan glows in a navy suit as Kate recycles a green coat to attend Westminster Abbey service of remembrance, and they both get a helping hand from their Prince Charmings. Several members of the royal family attended a Westminster Abbey service tonight to pay tribute to those who fought in the Great War. A glowing Duchess of Sussex was among them, looking radiant in a double-breasted navy dress complete with a square neckline and a chunky belt that showed off her blossoming baby bump. Meghan completed her look with a dazzling pair of Aquazura de Nouve pumps, worth £490. Kate opted for a more solemn look with a flowing pine green double-breasted Catherine Walker coat and a contrast collar and cuffs. She previously wore the outfit on St. Patrick's Day in 2017. The Dukes, meanwhile, both stuck close to their duchesses throughout the night and were pictured with a loving hand placed on their partner's back. Prince Harry, dressed in a dapper navy suit in his regimental colors, hovered close to Meghan throughout the night with the duchess's baby bump looking more and more pronounced. The couple's outfits complemented one another and they seemed inseparable throughout the poignant service. Prince William, dressed in an elegant purple suit complete with a subtle burgundy tie, didn't match up as well with Kate stylistically, though he too hovered close to his wife throughout the night. The Queen, on the other hand, looked regal in a violet Stuart Parvin coat, draped in aubergine wool with black velvet accents. It is a combination that Her Majesty has worn several times before and it was completed with a Rachel Trevor Morgan designed hat, which has been altered over the years. There was a potential fashion faux pas, however, as Camilla, in an elegant purple dress, seemed to clash with the Queen. Partnered by a stylish Prince Charles, who dressed in a pinstripe navy suit, Camilla wore an outfit similar to the Queen and even had her own purple hat to accentuate the look. The Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made their way into the Abbey shortly after 6 p.m. following a day of emotional tributes across Great Britain. Theresa May was present at the service which honoured the countless soldiers who made the ultimate sacrifice for their country, while actor John Sum delivered a reading from John Jackson, Private 12768. Memoir of Otami. During the service, Prince Charles read an extract from St. John while Mrs. May also delivered a passage, followed by the Dean of Westminster John Hall. The service concluded with a rendition of God Save the Queen. Away from the Abbey, a wreath-laying service took place where dignitaries from across Europe laid down floral tributes across a carpet of poppies, poignantly blood-red. The Queen watched as flowers were laid at the grave of the unknown warrior. In his bidding, the Dean said, as we mark today the centenary of the armistice that brought to an end the First World War, we remember with sorrow the sacrifice of lives on all sides of the conflict and the suffering of the devastated and bereaved. We reflect on how people were led into the war and how the war came to an end and on the uneasy peace that followed with its continuing suffering and the disruption of families and ways of life. Above all, in our remembrance and reflection, we hope for a time when aggression between peoples and nations is transformed into friendship and collaboration, when all may live side by side in mutual encouragement and harmony and the weapons of war are transformed into the instruments of peace.